Following public demands, protests, and riots, the Charlotte Police Department released video of the fatal encounter between Keith Scott and officers. Footage released Saturday shows Scott taking four steps backward with his arms at his side when he is hit by police before falling to the ground. Police dash cam and body cams worn by one of the police officers on that scene was released. Either vantage point, however, definitively shows if Scott was holding a gun. What we're giving you is the most complete puzzle that we can without trying the case out in public. What I can tell you is there's no single piece of evidence that proves all the complexities involved in this investigative process relative to this case. We're releasing uh, physical evidence. We're talking about DNA evidence. We're talking specific to a lot of the, uh, listen, we all know there's a lot of stuff floating out there about what has happened, what was not on scene, was it a book, is there a gun. We're releasing evidence that we, we believe, based on our fact-finding mission, that it will give you indisputable evidence that the facts we started with are the facts that remain today based on two independent investigations up until this point. Officers are absolutely not being charged by me at this point, but again, there's another investigation ongoing. And uh, yes, based on the totality of what we see, he absolutely was in possession of a handgun. Scott's family say he had no gun and that he was reading a book acting not aggressively when police surrounded him. Neither police dash cam nor body camera footage shows Scott pointing a gun at police officers. At one point in the body camera video, there is a view of Scott from his right side, and he has his arm by his body, but it is unclear if there was a gun there. While Scott's family say it is a step in the right direction, they also say the video release leaves them with more questions than answers. What we see when we look at this dash cam video is Mr. Scott steps out of the vehicle. He doesn't appear to be acting aggressive towards any of the law enforcement officers on the scene. He doesn't appear to be making gestures or motions as though he's arguing with anybody. Uh, he doesn't lunge at the officers. Appears he has his hands by his side. Again, there is no definitive evidence in this video as to whether or not uh, there is an object in his hand and if there is, what that object is. A police narrative released along with the video gives the most complete account yet of what has led up to Scott's death. Two plainclothes officers were preparing to serve a warrant on someone else when Scott pulled up and parked next to them. The officer saw Scott rolling a blunt and then holding up a gun. The document says due to the combination of illegal drugs and the gun Mr. Scott had in his possession, officers decided to take enforcement action for public safety concerns. The narrative goes on to say Scott did not respond to repeated commands to drop his weapon. Those commands are not heard in the body camera video, but in a cell phone video recorded by Scott's wife, officers are heard commanding drop the gun repeatedly before shots ring out.